Gertrude's log. Date. Sometime. Somewhere. Ufos has evaded me so far throughout time. I don't think I can go by myself much longer. I may need some help. Something tells me he's going to strike again very soon. I must be prepared. So, I've brought some snacks. Copy of next year's RTE guide. And Wibble. My childhood teddy. Ah, yes, uh, sorry sir. I've told you not to wander off. I'm sorry. Would you like some chocolate log? Many years ago at an ancient burial site, I found a strange urn. I didn't know the urn was a prison for Ufos, an evil time bandit. As I picked it up, it trembled and fell. I had just unleashed a terrible evil upon the earth. Now, I need your help to stop him. Is there anyone out there who can help me? I am the mighty Ufos, a time bandit trapped by worthless humans for thousands of years. But now the bungling Gertrude McNulty has set me free. If I can take three artifacts from different ages, then I can control time. Today, I am after the Bronze Age, and soon it will be mine. No one can stop me, especially not Gertrude and her pathetic army of pesky children. It's really tasty! Listen, this is going to sound really strange. No, oh, oh no. The time burps have started. There's no time to waste. My name is Professor Gertrude. I need help. Somewhere in this museum, a creature known as Ufos is stealing three precious artifacts from a particular period in time. Gold Lunula. If he succeeds, he'll be free to wreak havoc with the space-time continuum. Socketed Axe Head. Which could really mess things up for us here in the present. We need to stop him. The Antrim Shield. Split into three groups and find out what he's taken and from what period in time so we can go after him. I cannot stress how important this is. Are you with me? Or are you with that gorilla? <laughs> Fly, my pretties, and hurry back before I burp us into oblivion. waiting for? Off you go. Oh dear, Ufos has already stolen the artifacts from the Limerick Hunt Museum. He can use them to destroy our past. First, we must discover what Ufos has taken and from what time so that we can go after him and get them back. The team that wins today will travel back in time with me for the final battle with Ufos. We must put that awful time bandit back in his tiny prison forever. That's it. That's definitely it. Come on, let's go tell daughters quickly. Look, lads, that's it. I think it is. Hey, guys, look. Well, they don't let teddy bears do the Eurovision. <coughs> right, lads. Well, what's missing? A gold lonula. A socketed axe head. An antrum shield. So oh, it's the Bronze Age, is it, Ufos? Here's an interesting fact for you. The Bronze Age, which is not, as some people believe, the first time fake tanning salons appeared, was about 4,500 years ago, when our ancestors first realised they could do much better than their old school stone implements. They mashed copper and tin together and started pouring out lots of lovely bronze weapons and tools. Well, no time to lose. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Hold on to a piece of urn. Uh, not urn. Urn. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Honestly, you can't get the time travel and help you used to in the old days. Oh. Phew. We all made it. Got your own heads and everything, yeah? yeah well, hopefully so. Welcome to the Bronze Age, lads. Now, down to business. Ufos is bound to have buried those artifacts from Limerick somewhere around here. So we all have to find them, okay? The Bronze Age. Cold, isn't it? Finding the artifacts won't be easy. First, you must face the three challenges, and I will be waiting patiently for the team that loses. Time is already beginning to unravel. We've a castle in the Bronze Age. We have to be quick. Okay, your team names are going to be Drumbeg, Beltony, Locker. 
Each team has two code breakers and a seeker. The first two teams to complete the challenges will be rewarded with tokens, clues to where Ufos has buried the stolen artifacts. But beware teams, before our journey is over, one team will fall prey to Ufos and meet a horrible fate. Ooh, I really don't like time bandits. Let's hurry. Seekers, come forward. Take this. These will help you on your quest. Okay, lads, go after Ufos and remember, call on the code breakers when you need help. Good luck. Now, code breakers, you're with me. And let's go. <sighs> okay, code breakers, take your stations. John Beg, you're here in the center balcony, locker this side. Excellent. Now, code breakers, I've given you my archaeological diaries. They have all the information I've gathered over the years, and they're going to help you to help your seekers. And uh, just as long as you don't read any of the poems I wrote about my dear Wilfred. Oh, he was such a dream, but he was lovely. And there's also two envelopes on each table. Do not open those envelopes until your seeker summons you. Are you ready for your challenges? Yes. yes. You've got your envelopes? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's see how the seekers are doing. John Beg, you can yeah, open yeah. your envelope. I rang the gong. Open the envelope. All of them have gone. Now open your envelopes, guys. Okay, Joseph. I need help. Okay. It was here. I left it here this morning. My precious bronze. It's gone and with no warning. Where is it? I need help. Ufos has been at it again. He has stolen the smelter's bronze. You need to help him make some more. I mean, we can't have a bronze age without bronze. Code breakers, the clues are in my diaries. Use them to guide your seeker. The first two teams will win valuable tokens to use at the dig site. Today's best team will face Ufos in the grand final. Oh, why bother? You will never defeat me. Surely you can help me. Surely there's that goodness in your heart to help me. Two things I need to make the bronze look proper. Any clue where I can track down some copper? I am not good at finding things. I'm good at smelting. Right. I'm good at bronze. Have you anything for me instead in your pouch? Just one more thing I'll need to save my skin. Copper can't be bronze without its tin. Kira, check your pouch. Well, that, that, that's one bit. That's but, tin. But we need more. That's not it. There's more. Tin. Copper and tin. 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 Joseph, can we get... Okay. Okay, it was here. It seems to be in two parts, though, the riddle. What do you think? I'd say this part is copper. There must be a lump of copper. Kira, look for a kind of lump of rock in the gravel. There's copper around here. Copper? Co no. Two elements are needed to make bronze. The seekers have tin in their pouches, but they'll need some copper before the smelter will send them on their way. Copper? A green stone, that's it. That's copper and tin. I hope it will be of use to you. Now go! Ufos is on this way, please. And thank you. Do you have a token, Daniel? I got the token. Okay, go to the next place. Joseph still needs to find his copper before he can move on, but he's missed out on the tokens. Drumbeg and Beltany have won a time advantage and a token advantage for the final challenge. You'll need more than a token to defeat the all-powerful Ufos. I'm afraid I have no more tokens, but go. Joseph, yes? What's happening? I'm coming now to the next part. I'll tell you when to open it. At the end of the first challenge, Drumbeg and Locker claim one token each, whilst Beltany have none. The more tokens you have, the easier it will be to retrieve the artifacts. But there's still time to win more on the Musical Memory Challenge. I'm looking forward to this. I do like music. Okay, guys, wait. John Beg. John Beg, open. Win to the High King's birthday party and watch as we have for entertainment. The musicians got up with their horns and drums and they couldn't remember a note between them. Not even a tune of Happy Birthday. This is Ufos' work. This will be a lot more boring parties if I can't teach them what they've forgotten. Oh, thank God you've come. Ufos has ruined everything. The music's lost. Come out here, there's three tables. This poor old man has forgotten how to make music. Ufos again! To jog his memory, each team has a different tune. 
The codebreakers must communicate this to their seeker who play it on the Bronze Age horn and drum. Can they get the notes just right? Well, if they don't, they can dance to my tune. <laughs> Sorry. You may be good at blowing your own trumpet, Lufos, but these guys are smarter than you. I hope. Drum, drum, long horn, drum, That's short it. horn, That's drum. Go. 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 Drum, drum, long horn, drum, short, uh, short, uh, short, short horn, drum. Beltney are desperate to get a token. I hope they haven't jumped the gun. <laughs> Joseph, have you gotten it? Like that? No. Yeah. No. It is, yeah. It seems Locker can't agree what the tune should sound like. Please hurry! Long and drum. I know what it is. Okay. Okay. Drum. Long horn. Drum. Short horn. Drum. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, drum, drum, long horn. Perfect. Yeah, that was good. That's perfect. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I got it. He's got a token. Thank you. Oh, good luck in your travels. Locker, take the first token. But will Beltney take the second? Or have Drum Beg finally found the music? Okay, guys. This team must wait patiently while their opponents try to get the tune. They only get one attempt each, so it needs to be right. What is it? Okay. What is it? Go. Drum. <coughs> Drum. <coughs> oh, no, no, you're as bad as I am. No. Each team gets one try. Drum Beg has slipped up. Can Beltney take advantage? Short, short hammer, long hammer, short. I'm ready! Now I remember why I banished music from the Bronze Age. This is giving me a terrible headache. So go again. Drum, drum long, long, short, drum, drum long, long, drum. Okay, call okay, it. Drum, long, short, drum, long, drum. Yeah. Short, short, hammer, long, hammer, short. Yeah, you have it. I have it. I have a token. I have a token now to help you on your travels. Good luck to you. I got it, guys. Drum bag, take the second token. I got a token. Did you were you first? Second. How's your secret getting on? Uh, well, you have it. You have it. Let me give you. Has he got it? He's got it. All the tokens are gone. You got it. You got it. Joseph completes the challenge in last place, so no token to help Beltony if they reach today's dig site. Code breakers, come on, time to help the seekers. Let's go. After two challenges, Locker and Drumbeg have two tokens each, and Beltony have none. Next, code breakers join their seekers for the deciding challenge. We'll find out which two teams will make it to today's dig site and which team will be taken by Ufos. All will soon be revealed. Ufos, an evil time bandit, has escaped. I, Gertrude McNulty, have tracked him to Limerick. He stole three artifacts from the Bronze Age. With these, he can steal time. I've brought three teams back to the Bronze Age to stop this evil creature. Oh, get on with it then. I will, with my teams of code breakers and seekers. At each challenge, the teams can win a token that will help them find the stolen artifacts. But they may never get there. Ufos will soon take one team. Only two teams will reach the dig site, and the team that successfully retrieves the artifacts today will win a place in the final battle to rid the world of Ufos forever. Locker and Drumbeg have two tokens each. Beltony have none. But they can still make it through to today's final if they pull together as a team. But retrieving the artifacts without any tokens won't be easy. Down here somewhere! In the Bronze Age, stones heated on a fire were pushed into sunken troughs filled with water. Oh, no. These ancient cookers are called Fulluxi Fia. Oh, Ufos has drunk all the water from the Fulluxi Fia. No one in the village can wash or cook. Okay, 
Well, imagine the hungry stink this is going to cause. We have to fill these up. So the first team, Locker, you're over here. These are your buckets. Oops. There's a leak in there, but you'll do fine. Team two, drum bag. You're here. You have, oh dear, two leaky buckets. Oh well. Beltony. Oh well, you came last. Three leaky buckets, but you'll manage. They must get enough water to fill the Folochtifia. The first team to make the float rise to the top will win the challenge. If Beltony can pull together as a team, their leaky buckets won't be a handicap and they can still make it to the final challenge. Hey guys, we've got to do this. We've got to help the village and fill these up with water. And team that comes last, I don't know what Ufos is going to do to you. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the barrels are over there. You have your buckets and go! Oh, mind yourselves there. <laughs> Get this out of the way. <laughs> oh, no, you're leaking. Oh. This lot are having far too much fun. Almost as much as I'm going to have when I choose one of these teams to be my slave forever. <laughs> you can stop, stop the bucket, stop the bucket there. Ah. Oops, how are you doing? <laughs> Locker are in the lead, so they have one leaky bucket. Drumbeg have two, and Beltony have three. Yay, yay, John! Brilliantly! What? Oh, you got, oh, you have a little bit more to go. A little bit, little bit more to go. Is that the leak? Oh, dear. Oh, oh almost. Half empty buckets will not win this challenge. Are Locker going to be beaten at the last minute? Do you think you're nearly done? Can Beltony take one of the two places at today's dig site? Stop, stop. I think we might have a winner here in the sec. Yeah. Little bit more, little bit more. Come on, nearly there, nearly there. Mm -hmm. Locker need to shift more water. You guys are getting close here. Could almost be a tie. Yes, are we done? Almost, almost. Oh, Locker lagging behind. Let's see. Nearly there. Come on! Almost, guys, you're doing brilliantly. And stop! I think we have a winner. We have Drumbeg. Yes! Drumbeg, we've. And, and, brilliant, Beltony, yes. well done, well done. Who won? You guys came first, and you guys were just yes. two nano mini seconds of time travel behind. Locker, hard luck, but noble effort. Right, now, Drumbeg, come over to me. We've nearly defeated Ufos, we're on the way. This will help you with the next challenge. Well done. Beltony, hard earned token for you guys. And as for Locker. Ah, Locker, no appetite for victory. I have an appetite for you. So tasty with cheese. Mm. I have no control over what Ufos does. If I were you, I'd head for the lettuce. Okay, lads, no time to waste. Final challenge the dig. Follow me. Poor Locker. Their teamwork let them down at the Follocht Fia. And instead of making an ancient cooker, they became lunch for an ancient time bandit. This means their two tokens are transferred to Drumbeg, who won the last challenge. They have the advantage as we move to the final dig site, where I will choose one team to join me in the grand final battle with Ufos. Come on, Drumbeg, Beltony! We have to rescue the artifact before it's too late! <sighs> Here we are! Okay. They're buried somewhere in here. Ufos, he's a devil. Each team, one at a time, are going to dig one square to see if they can find the artifacts. You must start at an outside square before you go into the middle. You can dig squares that are alongside each other, but no diagonals. And remember, we're archaeologists. We have to be careful to use your tools properly and not damage the artifacts. This is where you use your tokens as well. Drumbeg, well done. You inherited Locker's tokens. And on those tokens, there are grid coordinates 
telling you the spaces you must not dig because some spaces have pieces of oofos in them. And if you dig them, you miss a turn. Right, drum bag, you won the last challenge. You can go first. And don't forget to use your tokens. Oh, yeah. And I see you trying to see what's written on their tokens. Mm -hmm. Lock your ears, close your eyes. We're going to pick D3. D3, OK, off you go. Michael Douglas. Yeah. Oh, I think we have a good archaeologist in the making there. Maybe use the trowel as well. Do the trowel. Good man. No, I don't think there's anything there. OK, Beltany, you can start digging. Just, just look around, John. John, John, please. D5, yeah. D5. Now careful, careful, just in case there's precious artefacts. No hard luck. Okay. Drum bag. Let go. Here, mind that. Now what square are you going? C4. C4. Oh, oh! Hang on, what do we have here? Shield. Careful, careful, careful. Oh no! You cannot have my Antrim shield. It's it's my favourite. Well done, thank you. Ha! The first find goes to Drumbeg, and the Antrim shield is safely returned to the museum. Beltany need to find an artifact soon if they want to have a chance of making it to the grand final. Beltany, off you go. Which square do you think? You have that Which one? B5? Yeah. Okay. B5. Now. I think I found something. Already? Yeah. Yes. It's, I think it Hang on, careful, careful. Yeah, I think it might be the gold lunula. The gold lunula. No, not that too. Oh, I'm really not having a good day. The next artifact will decide who I'm taking to the grand final to battle Ufos. Drumbeg, which square are you picking? B3. B3. Oh, we're close. This reminds me of the time I was digging in ancient Egypt many moons ago. Of course, we kept stopping for cups of tea. We didn't get much done. But it was great fun. Got a great suntan. OK, Beltany. Will your luck continue? It's like a giant game of noughts and crosses. So you're going with B4. Use all the squares to hop over. You can stand on squares that have already been dug. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Give that fingernail back. It's the one I use for the nostril on the back of my knee. Very hard to reach, you know. I'm afraid you guys miss a turn. Oh, he never did learn how to do a proper manicure. <laughs> okay, we have two turns on over here now. So, drum bag, off you go. <laughs> um, I'm going for B2. B2. Hope it's not another icky. It's an exit, I'd say. You found the last artifact. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Ufos is banished from the Bronze Age. Oh, I suppose it's my own fault. I should have asked Mummy to help bury them. Hard luck, Belt needed brilliantly. Yes. <laughs> Drumbeg, you are the winners. Now, the only Bronze Age Ufos is going to get is sunburn from too much tanning. How very funny. Beltany, hard luck. You're off to join Ufos's snail army. Well, you have to be thankful for the morsels of food you can get. Drumbeg, we're not finished yet. We need to go back to the original dig site where Ufos was released and put him back in his urn. Now, take these time torques. When they glow, you'll know that I need your help. They will protect you from Ufos when travelling through time. And remember, if you want to extend the life of your pants, put them on inside out. Oh, you may have won this battle and torn the Bronze Age from my grasp, but my time is coming. I am heading for the Iron Age. There are some great things to be stolen there. You better choose your little help as well, Gertrude McNulty, because next time I will show no mercy. <laughs> Thank you.